I'm Christopher No. I'm an accounting professor at the MIT Sloan School of Management. So it was 1976, I was eight years old. I don't remember how I learned that th this $2 bill was, was coming out and all I knew was I needed to get one. So I scraped together $2 and change, took a walk with my mom down to the bank, got one for myself. So I didn't do much with it. I kept it in my sock drawer for many years. And once I was old enough to have a wallet, I put it in my wallet and it's been there ever since. Well, it, it comes out once or twice a year. Uh, you know, one class or two classes a year is, is when I'll use this. I got this bill in 1976. It actually helped me teach a very important point uh, with respect to accounting. So there's this concept called fair value accounting. And it's a relatively new concept, that it, but it basically just says that for assets or liabilities, companies should try to value them at what the current market value is. And so to, to help illustrate this concept, I'd pull the $2 bill out of my wallet, and I'd say, this is my lucky $2 bill. I've had it since I've been eight years old. Now, if you were gonna do a balance sheet for me, what would you value this at? And so a hand goes up, and someone says, well, I'd value it at $2. That's what you paid for it. I'd say, yeah, that's right. Someone else would raise their hand a few seconds later and say, well, you would also might value it at what you might replace it at today. And people are really smart. They've already looked up on eBay. And they say, well, it's probably in that condition, probably around five bucks. That's a, a possibility too. And then someone else raises their hand and says, well, for you, that $2 bill is priceless. So I'd value it at a billion dollars. I'd say, well, accountants aren't gonna let you do that. But this idea of, of fair value really is designed to reflect what things are worth today, as opposed to what they were when you originally bought them. And that's a fundamental principle in accounting, and it's illustrated quite nicely with my $2 bill example. Those are the kind of decisions that accountants make every day about which, which of those choices do you make, which of those values do, do you attach to an asset or a liability when you're, and when you're developing balance sheets for companies. The lesson works incredibly well. I've been using my $2 bill for over 20 years. It's one of the most memorable parts of my class, I would say. I don't know what would happen if I, if I lost the $2 bill. Uh, I, yeah, I do have other $2 bills that I could replace it with, but, but it, would, it, would be, it would be a sad day if I lost my $2 bill.